What's up with the YouTube? I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I decided to drop one today. Man, so I just, I was, uh, man, so honestly, I've been posting a lot more on my 11 Power YouTube channel. So the content on that channel is mainly about like music videos and just entertainment stuff. So hey, if you want to hear stuff, go check out that one. Let's get straight into it. So man, so I was browsing on YouTube yesterday and I realized that Polaroid actually dropped a brand new camera. Um, the Polaroid company dropped the Polaroid i2. Now what's special about this camera is it's basically an upgraded, more higher quality Polaroid that allows you to take uh, more professional looking pictures. Honestly, I won't even say professional looking pictures, but it basically has a better lens. So your images should look better but also you have more control over the image. Um, so one of the big problems with Polaroid, uh, with as far as the new Polaroid company is the cameras. Um, the new cameras have, of course, plastic lenses on there. So the quality isn't great. No manual control. You can't control the shutter speed, aperture, all that good stuff. Basically, Polaroid dropped a new camera and said, hey, this is a solution. So if you know me, meaning if you've been following me, following me in terms of uh, TikTok, Instagram, then you know I'm a camera person. Like even, you know, right now I'm shooting on the Panasonic S5 II, which, hey, one of the best cameras out for YouTube, music videos, whatever. This camera is my favorite camera to use. You also know that I'm, you know, big on the cinema cameras. This is my Z-Cam F6, and then I have a red that's literally right over there. So I know a little thing about cameras and photography. But what I want to talk to you all about today is instead of spending $600, get one of these. Now, I've talked about this camera before. This is actually the Polar... Uh, I've talked about this before. This is the SX70. So what's good about this camera specifically is, so this camera actually has a glass lens rather than a plastic one. So theoretically your Polaroids could look better. Of course, everybody knows that, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about the power pack from Retrospect. So when I saw Polaroid announce a new camera, I, re I reminded myself like, damn, wait a minute. I did buy that power adapter that I was been supposed to install, but I didn't. So if you look at this camera, Specifically, if you look at the back, you'll see that I have the power pack installed. The power pack is basically this adapter right here, basically that allows you to shoot eye type film. So the thing about eye type film compared to the regular Polaroid 600 and the SX70 film is eye type doesn't have a built in battery. Let me explain. So Polaroid 600 and SX70 film has basically a built in battery. The problem with these old cameras is while the glass is better, the lens is better, it's not modified to take the i-type film. Why would you want to shoot i-type film? Well, i-type film is a little bit cheaper. Um, don't get me wrong, Fuji Instax is way cheaper, but i-type is cheaper than regular 600 film. So with this adapter, um, so with this adapter, you can actually shoot i-type film. So I thought to myself, hmm, do I want to spend 600 on a new Polaroid? Maybe. But I was like, why well, don't I just modify my um, SX-70 since I had already bought the piece anyway? Now, let me mind, mind you, SX-70 isn't exactly a cheap camera. However, man, I think I paid 80 bucks for this and it's literally in mint condition. So you can find it. When I say it's not cheap, I mean, if you get it off the Polaroid website or if you pay full retail, it'll probably cost like four, mm, three, four hundred anywhere up. But um, which I guess is a little bit more comparable to the 600. To me, it's still too damn much. But anyway, I just wanted to put you all on. Which some if you're in the Polaroid, if you're into instant film, then you already know this. But instead of spending six hundred dollars, why not just get you an SX seventy, install the retro spec power pack, and then now you can shoot eye type film on here. And um, uh, you know, mind you with mind you with this camera, mind you with this camera, it has, you know, I got manual control on here. Um now you can't control like the F stop or nothing like that, but you can definitely control focus. It also has autofocus built in. They do have models that don't have autofocus. Um it's just a great alternative. And I just thought I wanted to make a quick video because I think a lot of people are hyped about this new Polaroid camera. I'll be hyped too. I mean, I like the camera. It looks cool, but it's like at the same time, is it truly better than the classic SX70? I don't know. That's gonna be up to you to decide, but I just wanted to put y'all on so and um, it's actually a super easy install. I'll show y'all a couple clips as well. Um, aside from that, probably the, well, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to make this video quick. I really just wanted to remind y'all about this camera because I think a lot of people not only forgot about it. Honestly, if you're in instant cameras, you definitely didn't forget about it. But in terms of price, you can actually save money and just put the power pack on here. Um, it's super easy DIY. I literally had to, I had to unscrew what was on here. Look. And I forgot to mention why the power pack, um, I forgot to mention, but another good thing about the power pack is this. So it actually has user replaceable batteries. It takes four AAA batteries. 
One of the problems with the new Polaroid I2 is that the battery is not user replaceable. Now, to some people, that's not a big deal. To others, it may be a big deal. But, hey, with this modification, you can literally shoot I-type film on your SX-70. I want to give a shout-out to PowerPack and also the guy who invented these because um, he actually holds, like, the trademark. But Retrospect is a company that, like, mass-produced it for him. Yeah, so I actually want to give a shout out to David Keenan. David Keenan Keenan is actually the guy who invented the power pack. This thing was getting tested, I want to say, for like the last uh, two or three years before Retrospect finally ended up picking it up. And they, you know, got it worked out. But anyway, you can go get it right now for $99. So honestly, man, you find your good SX70 for the low. Like I said, I paid one of mine, I paid $20 for. And then the other one I paid uh, $80 for. Yeah, one of them I paid $20 for off eBay. It was untested. I ended up having to fix because a lot of the... I'll do a video on that later. But yeah, you can end up getting it cheap and you can actually shoot iType right here without even having to spend $600. So I just wanted to remind y'all of that and uh, hopefully I helped somebody today.